My name's Eeples Vox, and today I'll be discussing the flashback recording capabilities of the Elgato game capture devices. I will have other tutorials on Elgato's capture cards and a plethora of other technology topics on my channel. So be sure to subscribe if you find this video helpful and check the YouTube card above or the description below for a playlist with my other Elgato gaming related videos. Elgato's gaming capture cards boast flashback recording capabilities. But what actually is flashback recording? This functionality, when enabled, allows you to go back in time and record something without having to hit the record button at the right time. If the software is open, you can jump to any point in time, even if it was an hour ago, and start recording from that point forward. It's pretty neat. This takes advantage of the Elgato hardware's video buffer and is extremely handy for making sure that you only record the specific matches or clips of a multiplayer game session or other game session that you want without having to record each match and then going back and deleting the ones that you don't want later. It's also handy for just catching those funny, unpredictable moments that can happen during a game session. Oh my god, this ghost! Hostiles capture the stronghold. Enemy team scoring. So how do you use flashback recording? It's actually quite intuitive. First, make sure it's enabled in your Game Capture HD software by clicking the gear icon in the top right-hand corner of the software window. Towards the bottom, there are a couple checkboxes. Make sure Enable Flashback Recording is checked, then hit OK. Now, whenever you have Game Capture hardware hooked up and the software open, the video buffer will be saving footage for you to flash back to and record later. If there's a moment you want to go grab, simply drag the timeline controls in the bottom left to the point in time that you wish to go back to. You can also use the Rewind and Fast Forward buttons to more quickly reach a specific point you're aiming to. The pause button pauses the playhead at that point, though still continues filling the buffer with new footage. The live button allows you to jump back forward and keep up with the live video feed into your device. When you've found a point in the buffer that you wish to record, hit the big red record button and it will automatically save everything from that point in time up to the live feed and it will continue recording. Then either keep recording or press record again to stop recording and save the footage. You can trim off any extra bits in the video editor later. Keep in mind that the software needs to be open in order for the flashback recording buffer to fill. And once you've recorded a clip from the past, you can't go back to before that point in time anymore. That's it. You're now a time traveling content creating guru. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, go Prince of Persia on that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and check out the description below. There, I have a link to the playlist with all of my Elgato gaming tutorials and reviews. Check them out. I also have a product links to each Elgato card if you're looking to buy one for yourself. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.